Hey everyone, it's Kino here. There's a posture called Upavishta Konasana in the primary series of Ashtanga Yoga that can really help you open the hips and open your inner thighs. But it's also a posture that you have to proceed with caution in because if you use too much force and effort, you can really injure yourself. So remember to proceed with a balanced, calm mind. Okay, so starting off, you would have jumped through and then you're gonna open your legs all the way to the side. Now, a lot of people think that this is a straddle, so they try to bring their legs all the way out. But Upavishta Konasana is really just about being as wide apart as your shoulder girdle will permit. So the feet start off flexed and then we want to send the pubic bone back, but you want to send the pubic bone back only so much as your sitting bones don't fly off the ground. So if your sitting bones fly off the ground, you arch the back too much, and that's going to injure your hamstring attachments, which are all the way up here. So you want to keep your sitting bones grounded, sucking in the belly, toes point up to the ceiling, and then easy reach forward and hold on to the outsides of your feet with your fingertips. Then inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale, Press your sitting bones a little bit back. Don't let them fly off. Like right now they're flying off. I'm letting them fly off so you can see. Then keep those sitting bones pressed into the ground and sink through the hips to go all the way down. Let your chest touch the ground first. And if you're sitting out up here and you try and you started to round your back, there's no problem with that. If you round your back, just don't pull with your arms. If you pull with your arms, that's when you can injure your hamstrings. Then, if you needed to, you can press your forehead onto the ground. From here, if your forehead is on the ground, reach forward, surrendering your nose to the ground, and then slowly slide, eventually placing your chest on the ground. Now, don't let your sitting bones fly off the ground. Press the sitting bones towards the ground, chest down, and eventually your shoulders down, too. All right, and then the chin down, easy gaze at the nose tip, firm pelvic floor. Then inhale, lift your chest, and then exhale here. So you wanna take this moment to really firm your pelvic floor as so you exhale, then you can release your feet, lean back, and now do not kick your legs up in the air, but soften through the hip joints, soften through the heads of your femurs, lean gently back, and inhale, allow your legs to lift. In fact, you could just try this out. Allow your legs to lift, don't touch, and just reach your fingers out to the side. Then it begins to be a balance of core strength, then holding on to the outsides of the feet, and then we lift up, lifting the chest and looking up to the ceiling. Now, if that was absolutely impossible for you, we could start off. So for example, if you had your head down, it would be really hard to just lift your legs. So you can lean back, although it's not the complete version of the posture, you can let your knees gently bend, lean back, and this will help you get that flexion through the hip joints, reach around from the outside, and then slowly use your core strength to straighten. So that's an easy way to get into that. Let me show you that one more time. So from the ground, if you had your head down, you're gonna take it up nice and easy, release, bend your knees, lean back, reach down. Don't reach from the inside, otherwise your knees have to pop over, slide over. So reach from the outside, hold with your core strength, nice and easy, straighten the legs. And you straighten as much as you can, and then inhale and look up, all right? if your legs are completely straight and they're on the ground, then you just easy lean back and allow your legs to lift, holding from your core. And once you're in the posture, you can let your chest reach up, straighten the shoulder girdles, and look up to the ceiling. After your five breaths here, you release, cross your feet, and jump back. This is an important posture for combining flexibility with strength. So we're working on the inner thighs, which is opening all of the energy points to bring life and vitality into the pelvis. But at the same time, we're balancing that by grounding through the sitting bones and a strength through the shoulder girdle. This important posture marks a transition in the Ashtanga Yoga primary series from the first very energetic uh, movement that works towards getting the legs behind the head into the transition towards the second portion of the primary series that involves flexion and extension of the spine while preparing for back bend. So practice this posture carefully with healthy alignment and you'll find the strength and flexibility coming effortlessly to your body. Thanks so much for watching.